Hello friends, welcome back to online chalkboard. We are discussing here class 10 chapter 2 polynomials. In the previous classes we have discussed about zero of a polynomial, how it can be represented geometrically and what is the relation number of polynomials using the graphs. We learned how to find the number of polynomials by graphically representing them. And then in the just previous class we learned what is the relation between coefficient of a polynomial and the zero of the polynomial and today we would be discussing those exercise questions exercise 2.2 and if you haven't watched the previous videos the link is available in the description box and just watch those videos and then come to this portion and if someone who is visiting this channel for the first time you may please subscribe to this channel these videos is going to be very useful for you so you can also press the notification button so that you get the regular updates of this video so let's get started. Exercise 2.2, question number 1, page number 33. Find the zeros of the polynomial. Find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomial and verify the relation between the zeros and the coefficient. In all these questions, we are asked to find the zeros and then verify the relation. x square minus 2x minus 8. Got it. We split in the middle term. We need to find two numbers whose sum is minus 2 and product is minus 8. x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. We can write it like this. The sum of these two numbers is minus 2 and product is minus 8. Minus 4 into 2 is minus 8. So taking x common from the first two terms, so I get x minus 4 and taking 2 common out from the next two terms, I get x minus 4. So in the in these two terms, I can take minus 4 common. So in the first term, x is left and in the second term, plus 2 is left. So the zeros of the polynomial is values when this any of them becomes 0. That is x equal to 4 or x equal to minus 2. So from here, I have got the zeros is alpha equal to 4 or beta equal to minus 2. And from this, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, c is equal to minus 8. Now I need to verify alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a and alpha into beta is equal to c by a. Let I check alpha into beta, alpha plus beta is equal to 4 plus minus 2 equals to and uh, minus b by a is equal to negative of minus 2 by 1 equals to 2. Both are equal, therefore alpha plus beta is equal to negative of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. Now, alpha into beta is equal to 4 into minus 2 that is equal to minus 8. Alpha into beta 4 into minus 2 that is equal to minus 8. C by a that is equal to minus 8 by 1 that is also equal to minus 8. I got alpha into beta is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square. Hence, we verified this also. Next question. 4s square minus 4s plus 1. We need to split in the middle term in such a way the product is 4 into 1, 4 and sum is minus 4. So, 4s square minus 2s into minus 2 is 4 and sum is minus 2, minus 4. So, in the first two terms, if I can take 2 common, 2 s common and I will get 2 s minus 1 and here I can take minus 1 common and I get 2 s minus 1. So, from both these terms, if I take 2 s minus 1 common, in the first term 2 s is left and in the second term minus 1 is left. So, the answer is 2 s minus 1 equal to 0 or 2s minus 1 equal to 0. In both these cases, I will get 2s equal to 1, s equal to 1 by 2. Here also I will get s equal to 1 by 2. So, alpha and beta are both same and that is equal to 1 by 2. And here a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to 1. Alpha plus beta 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1. Minus b by a minus of minus 4 by 4 equals 1. So, here I got alpha plus beta is equal to negative of the coefficient of s 
which is the variable here divided by coefficient of x square. Now I'll find the beta. 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 equals 1 by 4. C by A, 1 by 4. Here also I got alpha product of the zero set C by A. That is constant term by coefficient of S square. Here 6x square minus 3x minus 7x. We have to rearrange it like this such that the degree comes in. Power of this coefficient is in descending order. 6x square minus 7x minus 3. Now we have to do the split in the middle term such that the product is 6 into minus 3 minus 18 and uh, sum is minus 7. So it would be like 6x square sum is uh, minus 7 minus 9x plus 2x product is minus 18 minus 9 to 2 minus 3. So from the first two terms I can take x and 3 common. So I will get dividing it by 3x I get 2x minus 3 plus 1 can be a common 2x minus 3. Here I will get if I take 2x minus 3 common I get 3x plus 1. So here 2x minus 3 equal to 0 or 3x plus 1 equals 0. So here 2x equals 3, x equal 3 divided by 2 or 3x equals minus 1, x equal to minus 1 by 3. So we have got two terms 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 3. A here is 6, coefficient of uh, x is minus 7, constant term is minus 3. Now I have to check alpha plus beta that is 3 by 2 plus minus 1 by 3 that is equal to taking LCM that is 6 3 into 3 9 minus 2 equals minus 7 by 6 fine what about sorry, plus 7 by 6 minus b by a is minus of minus 7 by 6 equals 7 by 6 here I got alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a now alpha into beta 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 3 equals minus 1 by 2. C is here minus 3 divided by 6 equals minus 1 by 2. Here also I got alpha into beta is equal to C by A. Now consider question number 4. 4u square plus 8u. 4u square plus 8u. Here we can take 4u common. I will get u plus 2. That means either 4u equals 0 or u plus 2 equals 0. That is u equals 0 or u equals minus 2. So in this question I got alpha equal to 0 or beta is equal to minus 2. Zeros of this polynomial. And a in this question is 4 and b is 8 and c is 0. Alpha plus beta, 0 plus minus 2 equals minus 2, minus b by a, minus 8 by 4 is equal to minus 2. So I got here alpha plus beta is equal to negative of the coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x squared. Alpha into beta is 0 into minus 2, that is equal to 0, c by a, 0 by 4 equal to 0. Here also I got product of the roots is c by a. Now question number 5, t square minus 15, here a is 1, c is minus 15 and coefficient of b is not there, that's 0. We need to find alpha and beta. Here we use that property a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. So we can write t minus root 15 into t plus root 15. So t minus root 15 equals 0 or t plus root 15 equals 0. Therefore, t is equal to root 15 or t is equal to minus root 15. Therefore, the roots are root 15 and minus root 15. They are the zeros of the polynomial. Now, alpha plus beta root 15 plus minus root 15 equals 0. Minus b by a is 0 by 1 equals 0. So, I got the sum of the zeros is negative of the coefficient of t by coefficient of x square. Now, alpha into beta is root 15 into negative of root 15 that is root 15 to root 15 is 15 and it was 1 negative minus 15 
C is minus 15 by 1, that is minus 15, so I got here alpha into beta is equal to C by A, that is constant term by coefficient of T square. So you can do the last question as homework and verify whether it's satisfying alpha plus beta equal to minus B by A and alpha into beta is equal to C by A. And if you're not getting, you can ask us doubt in the comment section. And now let's move on to the next part of the question, finding a quadratic polynomial each with a given number is sum of the product of its zeros respectively. Sum and product are given. We need to find the quadratic polynomial. Here in the first question, 2, 1, you are given alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by 4 and alpha into beta is equal to minus 1. Sum and product is given this. You need to find a, b and c so that you will get ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. ax plus ax square plus bx plus c polynomial. So here you know alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Here we have 1 by 4 comparing. From comparing this I get a is equal to 4 and b is equal to minus 1. So from alpha plus beta I got this and now alpha into beta is equal to c by a and here it is minus 1 by 1. We know a is equal to 4 so this will become c by 4 equal to minus 1. This implies c is equal to minus 4. So from this I got a 4 b minus 1 and c minus 4. Therefore the equation a x square plus b x plus c will be 4 x square minus x minus 4. This is the required quadratic equation. Now come to the next question root 2 and 1 by 3. Root 2 1 by 3. Here we need to find ax square plus bx plus c that is a, b and c. For this alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a that is equal to root 2 or root 2 by 1. From this I can write a is equal to 1 and minus b is equal to root 2. Therefore b is equal to minus root 2 comparing this. Okay. And then alpha beta I know it is c by a and it is given as 1 by 3. So substitute a is equal to 1 and find the value of c. This implies c by 1 equal to 1 by 3. This implies c is equal to 1 by 3. So I'm just say substituting here. I'll get x square plus minus root 2 x plus 1 by 3. This is the quadratic equation x square minus root 2 x plus 1 by 3. This is the quadratic polynomial or if you are multiplying throughout by 3 it will also come 3x square minus 3 root 2x plus 1. Uh, if we had taken here in first case a is equal to 3, c so you will get c equal to 1 and uh, you will get b is equal to minus root 2 by x. This is also another possibility of the forming forming quadratic both are same actually if you will be doing forming it into an equation you will see, see that both are same because we are multiplying 3 throughout alpha plus beta is 0 and c by a is root 5 by 1 so here i'll compare a is equal to 1 therefore c is equal to root 5 here it's like a by 1 this implies b is equal to 0 this is an easier one and I can just substitute it simply x square plus 0 into x plus root 5. So the answer is x square plus root 5. Now comes the fourth question. One, 1, alpha plus beta 1, 1. So comparing this, I will get a is equal to 1, this implies b is equal to minus 1, 1 by 1. This implies a is equal to 1, c is also equal to 1. So quadratic equation is x square plus minus 1 x plus 1. That is x square minus x plus 1. Here comes the fifth question, minus 1 by 4, 1 by 4. We have minus 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Here a is equal to 4 and minus b equal to minus 1 that is b is equal to 1. So here also a is equal to 4. So it would be like 
c by 4 equal to 1 by 4 this implies c equal to 1 so I got 4 1 and 1 so the equation is 4 x square 4 x square b plus x plus 1 this is a polynomial now just move on to the last question 4 and 1 4 and 1 alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a 4 by 1 I'll get a is equal to 1 this implies minus b equal to 4 b equal to minus 4 here 1 by 1 here a is equal to 1 therefore c is equal to 1 comparing so I'm just writing it down x square minus 4x plus 1 this is the required polynomial okay so we wind up our class for today with this we have finished our exercise 2.2 we learned how to verify the relation between zero of the polynomial and the constant coefficient of the polynomial and also we learned how to form the quadratic polynomial using the sum of the zeros as well as the product and in the next section we will be learning about the division algorithm of polynomials so if you have any doubts yet you can comment and also do practice more questions and we'll see in the next video. Thank you.